Hello everyone, it's Yusuf here and I'm thrilled to be back with a brand new tutorial. Today I will be waking you through the fascinating world of adding rotational parameter to your Revit family. But before we dive into the exciting tutorial, I want to ask for your support. If you find this tutorial helpful and informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, your support goes a long way in helping me to create more uh, content like this plus by subscribing you will stay updated and you won't miss any of my future tutorials and now without further ado let's jump right into the tutorial i'm going now to uh, make a new family i'm going to metric and i will choose a uh, metric door I will make open so as you can see here we have an, a door without like uh, it's just like open door without nothing we need to create our door and after that we need to make rotation so we're, we are able to control the open and the close of the our family door uh, so how we can do it First, I'm going to uh, reference level. I just want to measure this uh, distance. It's one meter. Okay, I understand that I need to make a door with one meter, like extrusion for sure. So, but first thing, I need to make a reference line. Uh, I'm going to make it from this corner to here. It doesn't matter the angle now. Uh, I'm going to make some align for for this is a reference line so I'm going to hit the first reference plane and I will hit tab many times to find this point you should understand when you find this point that you are going to align this point to this is reference plane I'm going to click here and I will lock it in place also I need to do it from this a reference plane so we did it from horizontal reference plane now we are going to make to the vertical reference plane so i'm going to align and then we'll hit many time tab until find this point and then i will lock it in place so now uh, this is reference line are uh, locked in the place between this is two reference plane and then i'm going to just add some angular dimension i went here then i went to angular dimension to understand how much angle i have from this reference plane to our reference line and also let's make it from here to here okay then i'm going to make a to create a parameter for our angle uh, rotation angle so i'm going to select then i will go to create and i would like to make it an instance so it will be for every door different rotation i'm not going to make it type so it will make it for all door that i will load it into our project so i will make it instance and i will rename it by rotation door rotation why not angle and i will press ok so let's try what we did i will go to family type and this is our rotation angle let's make it 90 degree wow so you see that our uh, reference line rotated in the degree that i did uh, what i'm going to do next if I'm going to see the view, there is nothing. I didn't do nothing. So I'm just going to make a door. Please pay attention here very much. When you make, when you want to make extrusion, you need first to set uh, our plane. And I will make big plane and I will hit here. It's, I will make it on, I will pick it on the reference line that I did it. So when you see this is a box, Dutch box you click here and now you can make your extrusion uh, let's make it one meter like this 
So I'm just giving you the concept and make it 40. It's okay, it doesn't matter. And then I will make it here and close it. You can also look it in a place and do nothing, but for no need for me to look it in place, I it will work normal. I can do it lock it in place to the reference line, but it will work now. So I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to uh, there is problem here. I need to make trim and extend. Oh, no, I don't need it from here. Let's make it from here. I need to check the distance again. Actually, okay, one meter, and I will make okay. I will go to left. Uh, view I'm just going to lock it in place for this level and also from down and let me see in uh, realistic so now this is our door let me control this door so I'm going to family type and I will head to rotation rotation angle I will make it zero and I will see what will happen you see that our door is closed already. I'm going to make now a new project and we will see what we did. And I will tell you something uh, very important about the uh, material, why it doesn't appear. So I'm going to uh, matrix arch architecture and I will make OK. I'm going to make a wall here. It doesn't matter. I'm going to uh, our family i'm going to load it into our project and i will head here or here it doesn't matter let's make it from here i'm going to 3d model this is our door now so uh, let's go to level one again and i will try to do what i did because i did it instance like uh, the parameter is instance so now you can see the, our dimension here so every door we can change the rotation angle for it so i just put it uh, 45 is i if i want to make it in another place i will head to this uh this uh, arrow or i will make it from this side like you want so let's uh, make it uh, from this side but what if i want to make like uh, to change the material of our door you see there is nothing here I can't do nothing why because uh, here I didn't uh, for the material of this is uh, of this is extrusion I need to go to associated family parameter and I need to make a new parameter I will name it a material and I will hit OK and then I will hit OK and now I will load it into our project every time when I change anything in our parameter I need to hit override the, the existing version and its parameter value so I'm going to hit it and now I'm going to click here so uh, if I will go to edit type you see that there is material here I can change uh, our door material let's make it wood something from wood uh maybe birch i will make okay and i will make apply so we'll see that uh, i will go to realistic and i will head again to to our door make rotation zero and i will see what happened you see that our door opened and closed so now i can control our door uh it's i hope it was very um, uh, clear for you and it was interest uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe my video because this is will help me a lot also you won't miss any of my future tutorial thank you for watching and have a nice day